Hello everyone, welcome back to the Book Corner, where I do book reviews, show books off, and much, much more. So, it is time to do about another Harry Dresden character, and that is going to be Thomas Roth, who is Harry Dresden's half-brother, who is a white court vampire. Um, he is Harry Dresden's older brother, not younger. Um... So he appears, uh, first appears in Grave Peril. Um, he has a gray or blue gray eyes, although they light into gray, silver, chrome, and white conductively when his hunger gains influence. His hair is shorter length, though he cuts it after he gets burned by a flame and arrow. <laughs> um, he has, it's, it's curly and black. He's got very white teeth and a good build. Harry Dresden described him as a predator angel, unwholesomely good looking, like someone painting painting of a forgotten Greek god or a body colo. So um, he is a white court vampire. Uh, I will be doing a video about the different uh, vampire courts. Um, I just have a lot to a lot of different characters and monsters to talk about some of them are gods some of them are members of the fae things like that all right um yeah so it says here, uh, Roth lives with Dresden to start at the end of blood rights through deadbeat and to prove guilty. He is a massive slob. He lives almost exclusively on beer and microwave meals and leaves the private room of his cheek apartment an undecorated mess. Um, Thomas' approaches to any given combat is with a maximum power, speed, and aggressive ferocity. Um, in the Dresden Files television show, I know some people don't like the show. I, ap I actually happen to like it. Um, the white the white court vampires are mentioned very very briefly, and they are slops. They literally do not have any kind of sense of cleanliness. Um, now, unlike the red courts, the white courts do not feed on blood. They are considered they are considered vampires because they do in fact have a hunger that needs to be sated, but it's more of like um, emotions than actual blood. Um, they are alive. Uh, they're not um, dead. They are alive. Be, uh, one how we can generally tell that they are living. Living vampires is because they can actually get women pregnant. They can actually have children. Things like that. But they are total slobs. So the show did accurately depict white court um, vampires as slobs, but I think in that show they do feed on human blood. I don't know. I did hear that Thomas Roth was supposed to make his debut in the show if it had not been canceled. The show is coming back, but uh, Jim, I think that I think they're saying that Jim Butcher is going to have control over it. I really do hope so. Um, uh, he was born on Valentine's Day. Um, so it says here, um, Thomas Roth is the son of White Court Vampire Lord Roth and human wizard Margaret Le Fay. His mother left when he was about five, and she then had another son. Um... Thomas Roth was a memento of his mother, a silver pinnacle, so apparently she gave it to him because um, Daniel's his brothers, when he re which he received from her for his fifth birthday before she ran away from his father. Roth owns a small hair salon coffee shop, the Kafir Cup, where he works in and manages. Um, he uses a uh, Desert Eagle, a sawed-off shotgun, and a sword. 
um, His abilities, um, he's faster than the normal human. He, his kind ages slowly, if at all. He can heal from almost anything short of actual death, as long as he keeps his hunger demon fed. He's a good sword fighter and a decent marksman, a good liar, and a consummated actor. Like all of the Roths who feed on lust, he is burned by the touch of one who has the mark of true love on them, or touches objects embedded with love, such as wedding rings. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, that's funny. Um, So he's very close to his half-brother. He will tell uh, Harry things that he would not tell anyone else, um, which I think is really good. They have a really good relationship for the most part. Um, <laughs> funny. Um... Yeah. So in the book series, uh, Karen actually uh, accurately, accurately predict, actually accurately guesses that their family, that Thomas is Dr Harry Dresden's um, family member, because he doesn't tell Thomas to basically go away. Um, yeah. Uh, so, uh, for his, for his, his girlfriend or his love, uh, he met, um, uh, Roth makes Justin love his life at zero, almost five years before the events of Blood Rites, and Justin is roughly 16 years old at the time. Uh, he almost kills her, but manages to stop at the last possible moment, despite the seemingly impossibility. She, uh, she is weak for a while, but eventually recovers when she should have died, however, this causes her to have the mark of true love on her, and Thomas Roth can no longer touch her directly without burning himself. Uh, Harry Dresden sees this as very tragic. So he is a very complicated uh, character. Um, but yeah, so he, uh, he does appear in Grave Peril. Um... And he goes all the way. I want to see the last he's at. Um, uh, it's uh, Peace Talks, the last. So uh, Jim says Thomas and Justin's relationship is really weird. I know what the relationship is in my head like right now. They're actually happier now than they've been in ever, but it's all happening behind the scenes and nobody can see it because Thomas has to have his badass vampire face and whenever he is in public. But when they are alone together, nothing else going on. They're they they're like totally cute. Uh, Justin wears um like these grown up version of footy pajamas so that she can snuggle up next to him the couch and watch TV without act without actually <laughs> It's really well. That's weird. They don't have a nervous issue or anything like that one, but they're kind of adjusted. That's fairly happy. They're fairly happy. You don't go around letting the other vampire go. Oh, how cute. I have to get to that one of these days. Harry doesn't see that, which is interesting. All right, so that is my video on Thomas Roth, uh, Harry Dresden's older half-brother. Um, I know I didn't go into a lot of more stuff um, than I wanted to because of the time constraint on my videos. But, um, yeah, so I hope you guys will enjoy it. I'll be back next week with another one. And as I said, later on today, I will have that video review for the book, uh, sorry, Halloween Party. 
and then I will go off into the world of Nancy Drew, read two books, do those book reviews, and then come back to Fear Street. So um, I will see you guys around next time. Read on. Bye.